Well, this morning we uh, didn't have nine groups of clients to go hunting this morning. So we let some of the younger guides take the clients and we're going to take some of the senior guides and Polly here and we're going to go make us a little fun hunt, do a little guide show. So uh, y'all stay tuned, this ought to be the real hunting break experience. On today's hunt, all us guides, we finally got to get together. You know, one of the first things we said, and I believe it come out of Blake's mouth when we got in the blind, he said, we ain't letting nothing get out the hole this morning. Whatever comes in here, we need to lay on the water. That's what we like to do, show them how you do it on the guide side. <laughs> chance with all the calling was going on in there that they didn't have a chance with all of us in there. I appreciate all of us getting together and making a hunt. I've been I've been looking forward since this last year. Man, huh. I think you have. I don't get to do this every day. This is really special for me. I appreciate you guys having me along. You know, I've said it many, many times this hunting season. Uh, all of us work very, very hard to, to make this thing a success and, and to overcome as many obstacles as we've had this hunting season. I can't say enough about the staff, the guys, as well as the house staff. And so to be able to share a blind with these guys after, after a tough year like this, um, it's really, really something special to me is to, to give them that reward of, of a buddy hunt. This episode of the Honey Break Experience is brought to you by Loretta, 
500 years, one passion. Mossy Oak, it's not a passion, it's an obsession. Gator Tail, taking you places you never thought possible. This is the Honey Break Experience. Swing on the other one, and his gun barrel come across mine. Well, I'm trying to find something well, wait a minute, you shot you the that. one before the back one. That was the middle duck. That's right. That's one All I right. shot. We I killed shot the first this one first and the second one, so that would be the last one. There was one. only three ducks. That's what I'm saying. So I shot the second to the last one, and y'all shot the first one. There was only so, one duck left. That, that was the, that'd be the he last one. <laughs> that one on the end. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty. Yeah, it was. I'm hunting with Drew Keith in Canada. I know you got to be quick if you're going to shoot with him. <laughs> I'm Drew Keith with Honey Break. Here today with Steve Snell from Gun Dog Supply and Joe Perron from Champion Retrievers. We're going to talk about how to train your dog on a whistle and the importance of using one of these things. Joe, how, how would you train something like that or introduce a dog into the whistle? Well, the way I start on a, on a whistle is I, I'll take the dog and I'll make him uh, walk on a lead and, and tell him to sit, you know, get him sit, you know. Then what I'll do is I'll tweet and sit. 
tweet and sit. And the reason I tweet first is because when the dog hears the, the sound, he knows the command sit is coming right after it. So, you know, he learns that when that command, that that command is coming, so when he hears the sound, he sits. Sit. Here. Sit. And when we want to call a dog in, we use three whistle blasts. Mm -hmm. That's basically how we do it. You, know? you can, to me, you, like you use a three tweet, and you know, I, I use kind of a two, so it's whatever, as long as you're consistent with whatever you're using. Yeah. Uh, exactly. But th that's the biggest thing, is that you've got to pick what your whistle commands are going to be, and you've got to train them, and then you've got to stick with them. Right. And uh, because that, that's the part that the dog's keying in on, is the, is the, the consistency of it. Right. right. If, if you want to make it one long whistle blast to come in, do it all the time. The reason we use the whistle, it's because at a distance, you know, you can't be hollering out there, you know, sit or if the dog's running through water, you know, he's not going to hear your voice. When he gets out 50 yards or 100 and he's chasing a bird, he's not going to hear you, especially in grass. It's hitting up against his ears in the water. And when you're blowing a whistle in the water, you want to you want to try to time your dog when he's jumping up, you know, so that he can hear you. Because as long as it's splashing, chances are he's not going to hear you. And that's your hunting break gun dog tip of the week. I mean, we rung his bail the first shot. And...
This episode of the Honey Break Experience is brought to you by War Eagle Boats, America's most versatile boat company. K2 Coolers, real value, real cold. Honey Break Lodge and Outfitters, the experience of a lifetime. This is the Honey Break Experience. The highlight of my day was being in the blind with all the guides, but also was when we had them five big mallards come in there, son, cupped up from way up there, lock muscle man coming in, stopped right over the decoys and hovered, son. And when I believe Blake called the shot and he said, let's kill them, we left all five of them laying in the decoys. Kill them, kill them all. Like a famous man said one time, for 300 days oh. out of the year, we are conservation provide habitat. For 60 days out of the year, we are here. having Joe and Austin come in, the guys that, that a lot of, do a lot of work behind the scenes for us. Uh, that They were staged out behind us because the water's so high we couldn't get to the blinds like we normally do. They were just sitting in the woods waiting. So instead of going back to the, to the landing like we usually do with the clients, we were able to call those guys up there, let them shoot their limit and uh, get a little taste of what hunting breaks about. This episode of the Honey Break Experience is brought to you by Drake Waterfowl, innovators in waterfowl honey. Honey Break Gun Club, Louisiana's finest. Mojo Outdoors, it ain't magic if it ain't mojo. This is the Honey Break Experience. 
next time on the Honey Break Experience. Kill them. Got two good friends, Doug and Randall. Two good dogs, Ducky and Jackson, and lots of ducks. I mean, we, 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 we limited out real early here, and it was just, you don't see that experience every day. Only on the Pursuit Channel.